So I finally made a counter video for this guy after many, many people asking for it. To counter this dog, pick someone like Olaf who can say bye bye to him, both if he ever gets in trouble and if he wants to create trouble for him. Teemo's blind can go a long way since it'll prevent him from dealing damage with his Q and farming with it. Rumble, if he plays it aggressive right from the start, can punish every single one of his mistakes very badly as well. Pantheon for his block, Warwick for his lifesteal and CC, and Rise for his displacement ultimate and snares make other good counters as well. Nasus's passive makes him permanently gain extra lifesteal. His Q will grant his next auto attack extra range and damage if it kills a minion, small monster, wards, basically everything apart from champions, large minions and monsters, grants him 3 stacks and the last 3 I mentioned grants him 6 stacks instead. These will all add their amount of damage to a fixed 110 and can stack infinitely. His W is a point click slow that can slow up to 95% when fully maxed and also reduces attack speed. His E places a spirit fire on the ground that deals magic damage per tick and also reduces enemy armor. Finally his ultimate will make him empower himself, it also makes him deal magic damage damage to nearby enemies and reduces his Q cooldown by 50%. This guy would not be a problem if not for his stacking Q. You have to play aggressive right from the start. Do not let him push you. Try to push him instead so he loses some minions to his tower. And don't let him free farm ever. As for spells, you'll probably see him run teleport flash or ghost flash if he's feeling a bit more aggressive. I would go for teleport so you can never leave him alone wherever he goes. In terms of power spikes, it's actually quite simple. His power spikes literally depend on how much he's stacked at each point of the game. Look at it this way. NASA should have stacks equal to the number of minutes times 20. That means at 10 minutes, he should have around 200 stacks. Triforce will make him an absolute beast, but as always, a single sheen on Triforce champions is enough to make anyone cry. He could become a mid or late game beast, but bully him in the early. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, do not let him free farm wherever he is. He can stack anything, even champion materials like Heimer's turrets and he'll always tentacles. His ultimate reduces his Q cooldown, so get away when he activates it. Ultimately, have fun doing it.